What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Back from my hiatus. I've been having the flu ever since I went out and watched the uh, the Minotaur rocket come out of Wallops the other day. I've been sick as a dog. I was in and out of the heat. Freezing cold heat, freezing cold heat that whole night. So feeling a little bit better tonight. Just got online, checking out my emails. Y'all guys, I love you guys. Send me so many emails. But sad to see that uh, Mars rover Curiosity sidelined by electrical glitch. Looks like there's been a glitch in the rover. Um, NASA Mars Curiosity took the self part. This is just a picture of that. Um, let's read a little bit here. I, I've read this already. I made this video once, and I could when I was exporting it. First, the first video back, it, it bombs out. But NASA Mars Curiosity rover has stopped gathering data for a few days while engineers investigate an electrical problem that cropped up over the weekend. On Sunday, the mission team noticed a change in the voltage difference between the body of the Curiosity rover and its electrical distributing power bus. They are suspect that the culprit may be a soft short, a sort of electrical leak through partially conductive material as opposed to a hard short, which can be caused by two Exposed wires touching each other, which you definitely don't want at any time. Um, Curiosity is standing down temporarily by engineers trying to understand what caused the problem, mission officials said. And it looks like uh, the vehicle, here's what they said. The vehicle is safe and stable, fully capable of operating in its present condition, but we are taking the precaution of investigating what may be a soft short. Well, they had this actually come down. The voltage difference changed. Let's see. The voltage difference between the Curiosity chassis and the power bus had been about 11 volts since the rover touched down in Mars. And uh, now it's dropped to 4 volts on Sunday. So that's a major change. They definitely want to take a look at it. It's cause of what indeed is soft short. This could be more troubleshooting in the Curiosity's future. Soft shorts reduce the level of robustness for tolerating other shorts in the future. And they can in indicate a possible problem in whichever component is at the site of the short. NASA officials wrote in the Curiosity status update Wednesday. The issue appears to be unrelated to the software glitch that caused the Curiosity to reboot its computer and to go into protective safe mode earlier this month. Yes, they've been, that's the whole program this month has had been riddled by some issues. Um, this one to me is this is, makes me a little bit nervous for the future of the rover. Um, I know it's it's a uh, nuclear powered, so it's not the normal. It doesn't need the sun and stuff like the other ones have. But um, basically, let's see here. Um, the one-ton robot is now embarked on its long drive from Yellow Bay towards Mount Sharp, whose foothills have a hold. Okay, basically they're trying to get to Mount Sharp with the thing right now. Mount Sharp is where we want to go. I know the people who are watching the anomalies wanted to go to Mount Sharp, especially to foothills, because we see so much over there that we want to get to, and figures we're going to get poised to stare at it, and we're going to be you know, sidelined for a while. But come on, that so you guys figure this out. Either way, it sounds like they can push forward with the mission, maybe get another couple months out of it until something else happens, maybe a couple weeks, who knows. Um, let me know what you guys think. You guys fishy about this? Um, you know, all sorts of stuff going on. Think this could be something to do with, uh, let's see, trending Comet Ison. A lot of people, I swear, the internet is just riddled with Comet Ison stuff. Um, so much doom and gloom. And then there's so many, then there's so much good stuff out there. But on YouTube, if you search Ison, or if you search it on Google, it's it comes up with doom and gloom, and I can't stand that. I mean, I'm thinking this might be the the sight of the century to see. You know, I don't think it's going to cause any impact on us. So. Hopefully, you guys, we're going to be in for a treat, and we won't have to get out the uh, crazy, uh, you know, we're not going to have to go buy a bunch of binoculars, a bunch of, con you know, a bunch of, uh, thing what was it, uh, telescopes. We're not going to have to go get, you know, everything we need to see this thing. It's going to be right there in the sky. We'll see if it makes it around the sun coming up, but much love, guys. Like I said, NASA, bust this thing out. We need this thing to keep rocking and rolling. What are we going to do? I mean, this you got to get to Mount Sharp. At least don't, <laughs> I mean, don't. Put out before Mount Sharp. Come on, guys. Take it easy. Peace.